staff. Right. Yeah. Remember, they, they had to sort mm -hmm. of say, no, you actually need somebody. Because he's his own chief of earth. staff, really, well, right? I mean, he doesn't listen to anyone. Right. I know when John Kelly was appointed, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, he's this four-star Marine general. He will be the adult in the room. But it's clear that they clashed, that Trump did not listen to him. And honestly, he came in with this wonderful reputation, and I think the administration actually tarnished that reputation. I don't agree with that, actually. He had a lousy well, General John Kelly, I think General John Kelly still has a, a fabulous reputation based well, off of no, the career well, that he served this, this country. That, that was fine and then. What, but, so anyone that works for President Trump has a bad reputation. No, 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 no. I can, if I can finish Three what days. I was going to say, okay. then maybe you would <laughs> hear me. Um, you know, John Kelly, when he disparaged um, Congresswoman Frederica Wilson, lied yeah, about her and then right. refused to apologize. I thought that didn't um, look good on, on his reputation. He endorsed the controversial and short-lived policy of separating children from their immigrant parents in an effort to deter illegal well, crossings. He, he, he defended a white child abuser, for our Robert His Porter. son died you know, so in he, combat. He defended I mean, white abuser, Robert Porter. Porter. He called um, Robert E. Lee say honorable that. and said civil, the Civil War was due to a lack of compromise. So when I look at all of the things that he did during the administration, that's what I will remember him for. I'm not saying everyone, but that's what I will remember him for, especially when he disparaged a congresswoman lied about her, and then f refused to apologize. So, I just think it's weird to be clapping. Whatever you think about his politics, he lost a son in combat for freedom. And again, clapping in that way, again, your call, everyone can interpret him differently. I do think there are some things that precede politics, and I think service and being in the military and losing a son and being part of a Gold Star family is one of those things. But there, I agree with the turnover rate. Both, you can be both things at the same I, time. I have a hard time clapping for if well, they're in clapping. general. Can they not? Have, they they can, no, you they can, everyone can do whatever they want. You can do whatever you want. I'm saying no. for me, it makes me uncomfortable. I also want to say that Trump's turnover rate, yes, is high, 62%. Right. My father's, again, it's not always about my father, mm -hmm. but his staff, I mean, his chief of staff was had worked for him for 33 years since he was 18. Joe Donahue, shout out to you, by the way. And I will say Obama's was 24%, Bush's was 33%. So the argument that, yes, it is a thankless job is a legitimate one. But the idea that just because you work in this administration and you, your, your reputation's tarnished, and that last time I checked, Nikki Haley's a uh, front runner running for president. She worked in this administration. What do you mean that Obama was 20, 24%? He had a low turnover rate. Of people yeah. that would come yeah. in and out of the they, White House. People stayed. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What yeah. I will say, because we haven't talked about it yet, but Nick it was Ayers. A, it was a 